Today I'm taking a look at the Saker 3-in-1 vacuum cleaner. So it comes with a pouch, something you can store everything in. And here is the tool. So it says to press the button for three seconds to turn it on. Right, that's cool. So this little flap right here, that lifted up. Oh, it's got two different speeds. It's interesting, so it's like a rubber flap. So all this is doing is it's pulling air in here and then ejecting it out there. So what that also means is you could use this as a blower. And that has got plenty of force on it. But if we take this off, let's see inside here we have our filter element. That way you don't have to worry about any dust entering the motor. So looks like it just presses in there. And then that little rubber flap is going to keep anything from being able to come out the front. Well, that's interesting. So we also have a wider nozzle. So I'll just enter in like that. That's cool. I have yet to see something like that for one of these. Oh, that's interesting. So we have a, uh, looks like a wire mesh filter element. So if you're going to be pulling in something that's going to be a little bit more abrasive, then this is going to be a better option. We got our charging cords. This is USB-A to USB-C. We got our long reach nozzle. We get our short nozzle. Now, what's cool about this, because it has this little poker on the end, what that means is you can use this for inflating things. Oh, yeah. It actually has a lot more oomph to it when you got the vacuum attachment off. So all these, they just kind of push in and twist. Then we have a slightly shorter reach nozzle. We have a wide opening short reach nozzle. We have a brush attachment. So if you want to brush while you're blowing stuff off, you can do that. We have a very short nozzle and we have two more vacuum attachments. Pretty cool. So that is a lot of options. So I'm curious to see how it's going to do on here. Oh yeah. Wow, so that has a surprising amount of force behind it. So overall, that is a very nice tool.